Now, as you probably know, I half own this pub, and yet I have no idea where the tonic water lives. Hello viewers, I've been asked quite simply to make a gin and tonic. So let's do that. We start, of course, by selecting your gin. Selecting your gin, James Gin Asian Parsnip and a glass. And this time I'm going to make it in the nice posh cut glass tumbler that some of the uh, older clientele prefer. Then we need some ice. We put the ice in first, I think. Here is the ice bucket. Oh, an argument's just broken out in the kitchen, but don't uh, worry about that. Don't let it put you off. It's still an excellent pub, just off the A30 between Shaftesbury and Salisbury. There is our ice. That looks lovely. We pour the gin on. We'll hear the nice cracking noise. Here it comes. Can you edit out the bit where I talk about the cracking noise? Because that didn't happen. Um, I think we should have, I'm going to be controversial and go for a small slice of cucumber. I like the idea actually of putting a small slice of parsnip in Asian parsnip gin, but Jamie the barman and Chris the landlord, who's just over there, don't like that. They think it's cheesy or something. So we'll go for a slice of this cucumber and I'm going to cut a very thin slice because that exposes more of the surface to the gin. It gives us a chance of infusing the whole drink with a little bit that cucumber essence and then of course we add the tonic now as you probably know i half own this pub and yet i have no idea where the tonic water lives chris where does the tonic water live right in front of you on the second shelf so it does i knew that i was just making sure you knew where it was right in front of you um, yes 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 it does There's a poem by Philip Larkin in which he talks about letting a two ounce tonic foam over the ice of the gin and tonic. I can't quite remember how it goes, but maybe you'd like to look that up. I think I'm going to finish that off by very gently um, worrying it with a, what do you call these things that you use in cocktails? Is it a, it's not a worrier, it's a uh, muddler. muddler, that's it. So I'm going to give it a, just a very brief muddle like that. There you go. Who would like to try that? Me. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's the best gin and tonic I've ever had. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye as in not goodbye, as in purchase.